Well, hello there, neighbor. Hello. Why do you call me neighbor? I'm moving him up here for the night. The basement was freezing. How freezing? Stop it. All right, Dad. Make yourself comfortable, and if you need anything, you just let me know, all right? I need nothing. Now, you kids run along, do your thing, and forget I'm even here. Okay, good night. Love you. Right, good night. Douglas, what's your preference, incense-wise? Vanilla or musk? <laughs> So just to review, I want to order the Deluxe Miracle Wand, the waterproof pen, and three cans of the spray-on hair. <laughs> An orange, yes. It's for a friend. All right. Thank you for your help, young man. I can expect it on Tuesday. Wow, that's speedy. Where are you located, anyway? <laughs> Carrie? Mm -hmm. I'm drenched in sweat. Too. Do we have malaria? It's boiling in here. Oh. The thermostat is set at 90. He's trying to cook us. No, he, he probably just got cold at night and couldn't see the numbers, that's oh, all. Oh, come on. He sees. He sees exactly what he wants to see. <laughs> Insane? Well, I'm trying to cool the room down. Doug, we are hot and sweaty and it's 10 below out there. That's how people die. I need to open a crack. Fine. I'm gonna go make some coffee. Oh, God. It's 6.30. I haven't been up this early on a Saturday since I was two. <laughs> Even then I was annoyed. Morning, neighbor. Oh, what a beautiful morning. I love these cold, crisp days, don't you, Douglas? Uh-huh. You know, when I was a boy, winter time was my favorite time of year. I remember one winter. <laughs> I couldn't have been more than eight or nine. No, I was 10. No, no, I couldn't have been 10. I was in the army. <laughs> well, anyway, there I was at Fort Dix, and they put me well, we're heading into our fourth day in a row of sub-zero temperatures with no end in sight. Boy, is there egg on my face. I said it was supposed to warm up by Saturday. Hope you didn't plan any picnics on my say-so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're so funny. Yeah, oh, look at that. The sun's got earmuffs and the big cloud is blowing. You make me sick. <laughs> okay. Morning, Douglas. What, what are you doing? I'm just getting a few things to bring upstairs. Have you read Lonesome Dove? Can't say that I have. Apparently, it's a gripping epic tale of the Old West. I'll be sure to float it across the hall to you when I'm done. Hey, Dad. Hello. Don't hello me. Did you see him? Did you? Did you? Yes. Yeah, and what was he carrying? Some stuff. No. no, no, not some stuff. Some personal stuff. All right, so we brought up a book. Big deal. No, two books, Carrie. Two, and one was thick as a steak. <laughs> and he had some clothes and some kind of clock. All right, what's your point? He's nesting. <laughs> you showed him a nice, warm place, and he likes it. He's made it his own, and now he's getting ready to lay his eggs. <laughs> okay, thank you for that image. But Carrie, what are we going to do? That's our space. That's our... Arthur free zone. Doug, what do you want me to do? I can't send him back downstairs. I mean, he might freeze to death. He might not. He might not, right? We could check on him from time to time. I could bring Coco. Dad, I am not making him move downstairs. It is too cold. 